Check out the progress so far on the 3D Revolution, my rotary 3D printer. The touch screen down here rotates down so you can get a better use out of it. Folds up to make the rest of the wall. Uh, we got two guide rails and two motors on each side and then one in the back. So three motors to, uh, to drive it. And uh, we got a central sleeve there to house the wiring going up the center. There's a slip ring in the middle there for the wiring. A 3D printed GT2 gear. There will be a, a motor out here on one of the sides that drives the, the gear there to make your, your Y-axis go. There's four quadrants of, of heating, four thermostats and a central thermostat in the middle. Um, you can see your wiring go up the middle there. So this is going to start at the top and rotate around print head one will start here and it'll spit out dash 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 as this spins around you know and this will print out in a spiral each head will then you know print out says this one dot 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 then this one dot 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 and each will print out and then it'll drop down and do another full 360 and drop down um, or it can do a continuous loop and just stay stay there dot dash dot dash dot dash and slowly pull out and only print when it needs to as it spins around um, building a, a whole spiral layer um, another way is each quadrant here can Print X like this as this moves back and forth for the Y um, and build in its own little pie shaped quadrant there. Um, then you could have four different colors being printed of the same thing. You could have four of the exact same thing being printed. You could have it so that PLA is being printed here and then it spins over to, to this one. And do 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 prints on some TPU on the bumpers of something or whatever. So um, I haven't figured out the spooling yet, but uh, I'll get there. Um, underneath here, oops. Uh, each corner just has one motor to drive each little x-axis, so you probably get some pretty good speed and and print speed out of this. Um, I want to have two colors per, per head, so I got to figure out different spooling, but it, stock would be four color. Um, I deleted the build plate there, but it gives you a better view of, you know, uh, each one can back all the way off the whole build plate or reach to, to beyond center. The nozzles are going to come down at an angle so that it can reach any part of the build plate. Um, and that's pretty much that. Um, there, uh, down below, there's just so far. There's just a couple of uh, you know power supplies down there. Three motors to drive each corner, which will let me do do self leveling. Um, The uh, build plate here, I'm going to add on each corner a little arm with two bearings coming off that, that this little lip here rides along to keep the, this, you know, on each corner of the triangle to keep it or level and then use each motor to do the, uh, the actual bed leveling. Um, but that's, that's it so far. I was going to have this bend down and and slide in but I don't think I really need to I think I think just tilting there is gonna be enough so anyways let me know what you think
about the 3D revolution. Yeah, 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 yeah.